I've built a number of epoxy guitars over the past few years and a few that have been completely epoxy resin. Some have turned out better than others and while this mold that I made works as intended, I wanted to try and make another mold that would allow for more access when pouring the epoxy and to see what kind of interesting designs I can come up with. As with any mold, you gotta make a plug first, so that's where we'll start. Here is the finished plug for the guitar body and it's about as close to perfect as I'm willing to get it. This is a wooden form I made to create the silicone mold in. It's all screwed together and I used hot glue to seal the joints. Uh, I got this thing mounted and placed. Next up is pouring the silicone. For this body, I'm gonna try using this thick set fathom epoxy, which is gonna let me pour the entire mold in one go without overheating, which is pretty cool. Uh, with my old mold, I was using a different epoxy and I would pour it in layers because you can't just pour a ton of epoxy in one go without it exotherming like crazy. The cool thing with this mold is that it's completely open, so it gives me the ability to attempt to make some cool designs with colors and all inside the clear epoxy. Uh, I, I did do a bit of testing with colors prior to pouring this, and to this point it's all been very unpredictable as to how they come out. So no clue if the epoxy is going to stay in this design. I hope it does, but I'm going to cover it and we'll check back in a few days. I'm going to take a minute here and thank this video sponsor, Morning Brew. Prior to subscribing to Morning Brew, my mornings had no real process as to how I'd stay up to date on current news and trends. But now that I've been following Morning Brew, that's all changed. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter, Monday through Sunday, that gets you up to speed on business news in just five minutes. Traditional news is dry, dense, and boring, and quite frankly makes for a better workbench cover in my shop than it does an interesting read. Morning Brew is witty, relevant, and informative. This past week, I actually learned how an NFT of a rock sold for over half a million dollars, along with how the overall market of NFTs is skyrocketing. There's no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew if you're interested in business, finance, or tech. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. Click the link in the description below to subscribe to Morning Brew today. Uh, obviously things moved around a bit. It appears to me that the colored epoxy weighs more than the clear, so it basically just dispersed into the clear and sank to the bottom of the mold, which is why the entire front is just mostly red. Uh, it's got a little bit of transparency to it, but uh, not really that stoked on this one. On to attempt number two. I let the first layer of clear epoxy set up for like six or seven hours. Um, I'm also doing it inside of the house where it's a little bit warmer. The clear epoxy has thickened up quite a bit. 
Um, but I'm hoping that this layer of color that I'm pouring on right now will kind of seep its way down into the clear since it's heavier and it's also way less viscous. There's no, no way of telling what it's going to look like until I pull it out, which is kind of the fun of it, but it also kind of provides that fear of the unknown, kind of like the last one. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this one turns out better. Okay, so here is the reveal. Uh, the back side looks a bit different than when I poured it, but the front side looks not, I don't think it looks that good. I don't really know what to think of it. It's, it's got some cool stuff going on. I wish it wasn't so gray, but I figured I will wet sand it and buff it out and see what it looks like. For this guitar, no neck build in this video. I'm just gonna use a neck that I had made previously. I made this guitar with the Telecaster style control plate. I also made this guitar pretty thin so that it doesn't weigh a ton. But because of that, the pocket depth doesn't allow for the traditional Telecaster style selector switch to fit. So what I'm gonna do is drill out a hole in the middle of this slot to fit a three-way toggle switch. I'll start off by saying that I'm happy with the results overall. The mold worked great and the guitar body came out really well. I was a little bit worried about some of the thinner areas like around the neck pocket, um, but the guitar body came out exactly like the plug I made. So I'm happy with that. I don't think the design came out all that good. Um, like I said earlier, I wish that there was more variety of colors that came through other than just the gray. And really what I was trying to achieve was a 3D look of epoxy inside of the guitar, which I kind of got a little bit like around here. Um, but really it's just, it's gonna take more exper experimenting with the epoxy. Um, there's a ton of variables in terms of like heat, time, color dyes weighing down the epoxy and so on. So at this point it's really just a guessing game. But I can tell you that there's no making two of the same designs out of that mold, that's for sure. This video was really more about the mold than the actual guitar I made. So I'll keep on experimenting with it and if I get something that looks cool, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Other than that, I've got a demo here for you to see this guitar in action. I'll probably post some other footage of me playing it on my Instagram. As always, you can follow me on my Instagram at brosart. <laughs>